Hi, this is RJ with Single Dad, and my update on Jason Mesnick, The Bachelor, also The Single Dad. Last night's episode was pretty interesting, and uh, I don't know if many of you are just getting tired of hearing this, so please let me know if you're just tired of these updates and your opinions on The Bachelor series altogether. Got a little bit weird last night. That's right. Jason uh, cut the Elite Eight down to the Fab Five. And it brought an interesting theme and an interesting conversation, and I'm really interested in hearing what the single parent community has to say about an interesting topic. First off, one of the themes that uh, I picked up on was the dinner situation, or I want to call the dance-off between, uh, I believe it's, uh, it was Stephanie versus Nikki. Uh, they were the two single moms in the group. And uh, Nikki brought up an interesting conversation during the course of the uh, courtship at the dinner time in front of uh, Jason. And this is an interesting topic for our community because Nikki brought up a past relationship. And she had a lot, at least a 10-year past relationship that she was rebounding from, and that's why she uh, came on board for the show. I'm sure she had many reasons to come on the show, but she brought up an ex at her uh, dating courtship last night. So I'm kind of interested in hearing what you folks feel about that. How do you handle that? How do you respond to that? Uh, she did a very quick response about uh, putting aside the last 10 years of her life that she wanted to get married and have children, and it didn't happen. So I don't know if that was the reason why she got cut, but I definitely think that that changed the whole mood in the episode last night. So my single dad question to the community is, how do you handle the conversation about your past relationships and do you go into much detail not a lot of detail make it brief make it dramatic obviously that was a choice um, for Jason to make a decision last night and he chose Stephanie not Nikki and it obviously leads into my segue of this coming month's new feature slide about the upcoming movie he's just not into you so it's gonna be pretty interesting because I'm gonna ask both John and Jesse to talk about their favorite lines they've received and the clues that they picked up on on someone telling them they're just not into them as well as the fact of maybe the clues they may be leaving to people including myself about stating to the other opposite sex that they're not into them so if any of that makes sense I hope you guys listen to it and uh, like I said we're gonna have a feature slide on the upcoming movie he's just not into you and both Jesse John and RJ are gonna offer how they drop their message that they're just not into you.